before we even start talking about angles in any degree measurement or anything like that, we need to un first understand what an angle is, where it comes from, why it's useful, and what we're doing. So, whenever you see an angle, we, whenever you are told to measure an angle, I want you to always think of a circle, and I always want you to think back to some lines that are meeting. Let's start with these line segments that are meeting. Here we have segment AB and segment CB, and both of these segments meet at point B, at the vertex B. Down here, we have segment EF and segment GF, and both of these segments are, are meeting at the point F. Consider for a moment how open or closed this, the meeting of these segments are. Which one would you say is more open? All right. What we're asking is how open, how, what is the spread? What is, what is the angle of A, B, C? And we would refer to that as angle A, B, C. All right. And we're also asking what is the spread? What is the, what is the angle of E, F, G? What is the angle? of E, F, G, all right? How open is this and how open is this? And are they comparable? Are they the same? Are they different? Well, let's find out. As we're talking about angles and we're talking about circles, I wanna to talk to you about something called the turn as well. And the turn is exactly what it sounds like. Imagine for a moment we have a gentleman standing here, and he is facing in an easterly direction. And he turns, he turns his entire body a quarter of the way, so now he is facing north. Okay? Then he decides he's going to turn again. Do another quarter turn, so he's facing west. Then... He turns one more time, a quarter of the way, now facing south. You can get up and you can do this, and you can understand angles better by doing this. Lastly, make one last quarter of a turn. And now you'll find that he's facing in an easterly direction again. Now, what have we created by doing this? Well, take a look at this. This is, in fact, a circle. All right? And... A quarter of a turn, that is what we conceptualize as a 90 degree turn or a 90 degree angle. So if I take this idea of a turn that we've just developed here and I just bring it up to this circle right here, all right? Let's consider that for a moment. A quarter of a turn? Well, actually, looking at this circle here, if you do a quarter of a turn, a quarter from this point here to this point here, you have effectively taken up a quarter of a circle. So a quarter of a turn, a quarter of that circle, makes that 90 degree angle. And we write that 90 degree angle with this little box here. We'll go over why that's the case in a second. Okay, so we've got our gentleman down here. He does a quarter of a turn. And then he does another quarter of a turn, which is another 90 degrees. Okay. If you do another quarter turn, you have another 90 degrees. And you can see that each of these quarters of a turn are taking up a quarter of this circle. All right. And lastly, if we do one more quarter of a turn, we have finally another 90 degrees. And so the interesting thing is, as we take a look at this, as we take a look at the total measure of all of these angles in total, we find that 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is equal to 360 degrees. And as you'll see in the center here, as I was drawing these little, these little right angles to demonstrate that we had right angles, after I had four of them in total, what is the shape? 
that is in fact a square. And a square also has 360 degrees for the sum of all of its interior angles. That's very interesting. I'm going to leave you with one notion here in relation to this idea of geometry, angles, circles, turning. I want to ask you, if we have a triangle, what is the sum of the degrees in a triangle and why? Okay. And if you need a little hint, this is your hint. You can pause the video and stop here if you want. But in order to help you think about this, draw yourself a right triangle. In fact, make it a isosceles right triangle and then start thinking about it from that perspective as to why the sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. All right, that's a question for you to think on and get back to me. So as we keep talking about these angles and as we come to realize that a quarter of this circle is 90 degrees. Well, now we can start really hammering away on what all of these intermediate, all these other angles are in between that 90 degrees. So let's say we cut this in half, all right? What is the angle from here to here? Well, that's, what's the angle of halfway between nine uh, here and here? So half of 90 degrees, well, that, that for this angle here must be 45 degrees. All right, and then we can go even further. We can cut 45 degrees in half and we can find out what the angle here is. And then we could even go so far as to say, well, if I traveled 50, if I traveled, let's see, if I traveled 45 degrees and then I traveled half of 45 degrees, which is 22.5 degrees, how far have I traveled? Well, 45 plus 22.5 that's uh let's see that's 67.5 degrees and so we can measure what this angle here is and then we can just start filling it in and we understand that this smallest inclination of a turn the smallest inclination of this angle here is one degree and we can travel along the edge of this circle and keep going all the way up let's say that we were to travel from here to here how 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 big would that angle be? Well, if this is 90 degree turn, and this is a 90 degree turn, and that's half the circle, and half the circle is 100 is 360 degrees, then half the circle or half a turn is 180 degrees.